a hibachi waitress asked, is it normal for 50 to 55% of her daily tips to be taken out to pay the salary of a cook? Okay, good question. So I'm Trang Tran, overtime lawyer, and someone forwarded this Reddit post to me. I'm going to try to answer two of the multiple questions in this Reddit post. With regards to the first question, it is not permitted for tipped employees to share with their tips with cooks or people that work in the back of the house, in the kitchen. Hibachi restaurants, uh, however, are a little, little bit different. They have a back kitchen where you can't share tips and they have a front cook, um, the guy that's doing the performance in the middle of the hot hibachi uh, setting. Those people are interacting with the customer, so they are considered tipped employees because they earned it through the customer interaction. So if the owner of the restaurant is taking out 50 to 55% of uh, a waiter's tips and paying it as salary to people in the back of the house, then um, that voids the tip credit and they have to go back and pay everyone the difference between the 213 and the minimum wage uh, that's applicable um, in that state or at least 725 under the Fair Labor Standards Act. The second question is, I haven't received any tax form from them previously, not even sure they're paying the tax on the tips they've taken from me. Okay, this is a cool question. As a tipped employee, you're responsible for reporting your own taxes. The IRS has a form called 4137, which you can attach, fill out and attach to your income tax return. And this is just to report to the IRS any types of unreported tips uh, that your restaurant owner or an operator may not have reported. And guess what? They do audit restaurants. If there's, they're not getting their employer contribution and withholdings for the taxes that the employees have reported. Okay, back to work.